from my topic of oral uh, presentation uh, is spectral assay beyond the womb, uh, decoding the fetal brain anomaly via radiological insights. Author, uh, myself, Dr. Martin. Introduction, the central nervous system anomalies represent a substantial portion of fetal abnormality with incidence of approximately 1 per 100 years. This spectral assay aims to visually illustrate and explore the diverse fetal brain anomalies through our radiological imaging. By presenting a collection of images obtained via various radiological modality, this assay seeks to offer insights into the diagnostic capability and nuisance of imaging in identifying and characterizing the different fetal brain anomalies. It seeks to illustrate the diagnostic capacity of each imaging modality, the nuisance they reveal in anomaly like anencephaly, hydrocephalus, holoprism cephaly, and microcephaly, and their role is in a shaping or understanding of fetal neural neurodevelopment. Methods, this is a retrospective analysis was conducted covering 20 cases involving the congenital brain abnormalities using UHG and 3 Tesla MRI. A systematic review of fetal brain anomaly was conducted uh, encompassing imaging data obtained from ultrasound and MRI. The protective structure such as skin and skull surveys of protective barriers shielding the brain from physical damage, chemical intrusions, and bacterial substances. Meninges, three connective tissue membranes like dura matter, arachno matter, and pia matter that encase the brain and the spinal cord. Then it encloses the blood vessels. CSS, this is water effluent that akin to the blood plasma in a composition is produced in a choroid plexus indicating through the ventricles and the subarachnoid space. The results are, there are five cases of hydrocephalus that is notable ventricular enlargement, uh, corpus callosum anomaly, four cases that exhibited the structural anomaly in a corpus callosum, the colpocephaly that is nothing, nothing but the abnormalities in a posterior horns of lateral ventricle, the meningo encephalocy, a single case that is a protrusion of meninges and brain tissues through a defect of skull, the cisterna magna anomaly of one case. <clears throat> Dandy-Walker syndrome of one case that features of Dandy-Walker syndrome in a one case involving the cerebral vermis hypoplasia and enlarged posterior fossa. Uh, Arnold Carly malformation, there is a herniation of cerebral tonsils through a foramen magna. Uh, Holoprism cephaly having four cases that exhibited failure of cerebral hemisphere division varying from partial to complete fusion. Open lift schism cephaly is a single, there is a cleft or gap in the cerebral hemisphere, <laughs> then microcephaly that reduce in a head size that indicates the microcephaly. These are the results. Pie charts uh, showing the more number of cases of hydrocephalus, then the carpus callosum anomaly, and subsequently other cases. Uh, this is a bar diagram showing the more number of cases of hydrocephalus, then carpus callosum anomaly, then other cases. Uh, now, imaging and discussion. Hydrocephalus, that is the, in this UAG images of axial section suggesting dilatation of ventricle, that is hydrocephalus. In this MR images of coronal sections A and B, suggesting the dilatation of ventricle, that is the cross hydrocephalus, the, in this MRI image is suggesting the same. <coughs> the carpus callosum anomaly. In this coronal images of uh, A and B, uh, there is a non-visualization of carpus callosum. In this uh, MRI images, showing the racing car appearance, that means the carpus callosum degenesis. Uh, Colpocephaly, that means there is a uh, prominence of posterior horns in this UAG image and in this MR image. Uh, there is a, in this coronal image of UAG and the sagittal images of UAG, suggesting a midline occipital horn defect through which the, there is a herniation of cerebral hemisphere and its meninges uh, that are suggestive of occipital meningo incapacity. Now, this is the MR image uh, suggesting there is a midline defect in an occipital wood uh, through which there is a herniation of the cerebral uh, hemisphere along with the meninges. Now, the cisterna magna, the, that is nothing but the enlargement of CSF fills of space in an inferior and posterior fossa. Uh, in Dandy Walker syndrome, there is a non visualization of posterior half corpus callosum, um, that is corpus callosum hypoplasia, and there is a, in this B, image B, showing uh, there is a disproportionate prominence of the occipital horn of bilateral lateral ventricle, suggesting colpocephaly. Uh, in this uh, uh, MRI sagittal images showing the 
enlargement of posterior horn with prominent retrocerebral CSF space and the tegment to one main angle is 21.2 degree. That means it is increased. Then there is a less than 50% of cerebral below the posterior decline line, suggesting cephalic rotation of hypoplastic bones. This all <coughs> suggestive of Dandy Walker syndrome. Arnold carry mark formation in this image. There is a, uh, a the first two images are of UAG showing indentation of bilateral lateral bone bones anteriorly seen lemon sign. Uh, bilateral lateral ventricles appear dilated, predominantly the occipital region, from the occipital region, and there is a thin out corpus callosum laterally. Uh, in this, there is a splaying of the posterior elements of lumbar spine. Uh, in the third, um, there is a angulation and stenosis of the aqueduct suggesting gross hydrocephalus and tonsillar herniation. Uh, in this holoprison cephalic image, UAG suggests a gross dilatation of lateral ventricle and uh, predominantly the bilateral occipital horn um, with fusion of both the ventricles, uh, suggesting monoventricle appearance. There is a complete fusion of bilateral thalami, <coughs> suggesting semi-lobar holoprison cephalic. In this horseshoe, in this uh, image B of UAG, suggesting horseshoe shaped monoventricle with fusion of frontal horns of bilateral lateral ventricle, frontal lobes with partially developed temporal horns, suggesting semi lobar represent cephalus. <clears throat> in these two images M of UAG and MRI, suggesting complete absence of corpus callosum, septum pellucidum, and singlet virus, both the lateral ventricles appear fused, interhemiscalic fissure appear continuous with the separated thalamus, the gyral continuity between the frontal lobe, its anterior inferior aspect, imaging suggestive of lobar holoprism cephalic. In this MR uh, image, there is a fusion of both the ventricles, suggesting monoventricular appearance, and the complete fusion of bilateral thalami notice, suggesting semi lobar holoprism in this open lip schizocephaly, there is a defect in the left perisalvian uh, region suggesting open lip schizocephaly. In this UHGM is suggesting the same. Uh, the, uh, in this uh, UHGM, there is a reduce in the size of the skull brain suggesting microcephaly. Now the conclusion. The comprehensive analysis of 20 cases of represent diverse congenital brain anomalies offer valuable insights into the spectrum of distribution of these conditions. The finding underscore the multifaceted nature of the congenital brain anomalies observed in a prenatal imaging. Hydrocephalus emerged as the most frequently encountered anomaly in this study, followed by the carpus callosum anomalies and the carpocephaly. Collectively comprising the significant proportion of cases, moreover a range less common anomalies such as the mango encephalo, seal and open lips schizocephaly were also identified, albeit in a smaller numbers. Now, in, in this conclusion, the study contributes the understanding of the prevalence and diversity of congenital brain anomaly observed through the radiological imaging in a limited cohort. Future study with larger sample size and logical assessment are warranted to further delineate the outcome and therapeutic intervention of these you know, anomalies, enhancing the prenatal care and progno uh, prognostic accuracy. These, these are the reference. Thank you.